Today, I wanted to talk to you about this amazing telescope that I've been working on with a lot of people. Telescopes are time machines. The James Webb Space Telescope is the biggest, most complex telescope that NASA has ever launched into space. We're never going to stop exploring the unknown in air and space. The James Webb Telescope is leading the way into a fresh chapter of space observation. With its remarkable sun shield spanning the size of a tennis court and its primary mirror of 6.5 meters packed within the launcher like a ship inside a bottle, the James Webb Space Telescope has taken over from previous missions such as the Kepler Space Telescope, the Spitzer Space Telescope and of course the incredible Hubble Space Telescope. Since capturing its inaugural image on July 12th of the previous year, unveiling distant galaxies as they appeared over 13 billion years ago, the Webb Telescope has continued to expand upon this extraordinary foundation. It seems that the boundaries of discovery have been pushed further once again. Its most recent photographs serve as awe-inspiring evidence of humanity's capacity for exploration and simultaneously its sheer insignificance in the grand tapestry of the universe. Join us as we delve into the captivating new image unveiled by the James Webb Telescope, unlocking the secrets of our vast cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope stands as the largest and most intricate telescope of its kind, equipped with an array of sophisticated instruments. Its primary objective is to delve into the hidden depths of our universe, peering into the faint light emitted by early stars and galaxies that emerged in the aftermath of the Big Bang. Telescopes, in a sense, serve as time machines, allowing us to look back into the past. This may sound magical, but it's actually quite straightforward. Light requires time to traverse the vast distances of space before reaching us. However, it's important to note that telescopes do not physically gaze into the past when observing light from distant galaxies. The past no longer exists for us to directly observe. Instead, telescopes capture the current pattern of a beam of light. This beam of light has remained largely unchanged for millions and billions of years as it traverses the most empty vacuum of space. Consequently, the pattern of this light beam in the present reflects the same pattern it possessed when it was initially emitted by the distant galaxy billions of years ago. By studying the current state of a light beam, we can make educated guesses about the galaxy's appearance in the distant past. Yet our ability to infer the past from present-day light beams is contingent on the light remaining unaltered over time. A more accurate representation of the past would necessitate the light from distant galaxies undergoing changes that we can comprehend and account for. One significant alteration that occurs as light travels through intergalactic space is redshift, resulting from the expansion of the universe. Thankfully, redshift is now well understood, allowing us to appropriately shift the light pattern back in time, thereby providing an accurate depiction of the distant galaxy at the moment the light was emitted. Thus, the James Webb Space Telescope serves as our most advanced time machine, enabling us to explore the cosmos like never before. And once again, the James Webb Space Telescope has left everyone amazed with its latest photograph. The image reveals a delicate pattern of dust and clusters of bright stars, intricately threading across the frame. These luminous tendrils of gas and stars belong to the barred spiral galaxy NGC 5068, with its prominent central bar visible in the upper left portion of the composite image captured using two of Webb's instruments. The image was unveiled by NASA Administrator Bill Nelson during an event with students at the Copernicus Science Center in Warsaw, Poland. NGC 5068 resides approximately 20 million light years away from Earth in the constellation Virgo. This latest image focuses on the central regions of the galaxy, where intense star formations occur. It is part of a larger campaign aiming to create an astronomical treasure trove, a collection of observations documenting star formation in nearby galaxies. Previous captivating images from this project include IC5332 and M74. These observations hold significant value for astronomers due to two primary reasons. Firstly, star formation plays a fundamental role in various fields of astronomy, encompassing everything from understanding the physics of the tenuous plasma existing between stars to comprehending the evolution of entire galaxies. 
By studying the formation of stars in nearby galaxies, astronomers hope to facilitate significant scientific breakthroughs using some of the first available data from the James Webb Telescope. The second reason is that Webb's observations build upon previous studies conducted using telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based observatories. Webb's images of 19 nearby star-forming galaxies can be combined with Hubble's images of 10,000 star clusters, spectroscopic mapping of 20,000 star-forming emission nebulae from the Very Large Telescope VLT, and observations of 12,000 dark, dense molecular clouds identified by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ALMA. This comprehensive collection of observations spans the electromagnetic spectrum and provides astronomers with an unprecedented opportunity to piece together intricate details of star formation. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope excels at peering through the gas and dust that surrounds newborn stars, making it exceptionally suited to explore the processes governing star formation. These swirling clouds of gas and dust are opaque to observatories sensitive to visible light, such as Hubble or the VLT. However, Webb's instruments, particularly the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, and the near-infrared camera, NearCam, possess keen infrared vision. This enables astronomers to penetrate the massive dust clouds in NGC 5068 and capture the unfolding processes of star formation. The composite image presented combines the capabilities of MIRI and NearCam, offering a truly unique perspective on the composition of NGC 5068. Furthermore, there is an additional feature in this image. Three trails left by asteroids, represented as tiny blue-green-red dots. Astronomical images often include asteroids because they are much closer to the telescope than the distant target being observed. As Webb captures multiple images of the astronomical object, the asteroid's movement becomes apparent, appearing slightly displaced in each frame. These asteroid's trails are more noticeable in images from MIRI due to the fact that many stars appear less bright in mid-infrared wavelengths compared to near-infrared or visible light, making the asteroids more easily distinguishable against the stars. And that's not all. In a recent study, the James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a remarkable discovery, shedding light on the early inhabitants of the universe. While only a few such galaxies were previously known, the telescope has now revealed hundreds of ancient galaxies that existed as early as 600 million years after the Big Bang. These very young galaxies exhibit intricate structures and clusters of star formation, providing valuable insights into the early stages of the universe. The study is the result of an international collaboration known as the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey JADES, which collected data from two inconspicuous regions of the sky over a month-long period. One region is located near the Fornax Cluster, while the other is in the constellation Ursa Minor. The discovery of over 700 recently found young galaxies in these areas contributes to our understanding of the early universe. During the announcement of this discovery, Kevin Hainline, an assistant research professor at the Stewart Observatory in Arizona and a lead author of the study, compared the timeline of the universe to a two-hour movie with these newly discovered galaxies representing the first five minutes. He emphasised that these galaxies play a crucial role in the creation of the building blocks and complexity observed in the modern world. The recent findings clarify the origins of early galaxies and stars, which ultimately led to the diverse range of elements present in the universe today. By analysing the data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope, Heinlein and his team identified 717 young galaxies within this early time frame, indicating that the universe is between 370 million and 650 million years old. Despite their youth, these galaxies are already thousands of light years in size, exhibiting intricate structures and actively giving birth to stars in numerous clusters. In contrast, the earliest galaxies that were previously observable appeared as faint smudges. However, with the improved capabilities of the James Webb Telescope, scientists can now identify these galaxies as extended objects with visible structures, representing the beginning stages of millions or even billions of stars in the early universe. The locations studied in this research, collectively referred to as Goods South, 
have been subjects of substantial research by prominent space telescopes like Hubble, the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope. Despite prior examinations, the recent findings from the James Webb Telescope have revealed that 93% of the newly discovered galaxies during the JADES project had not been observed before. Previously, our observations were limited to the brightest and most extreme examples of galaxies from the early cosmos. However, with the James Webb Telescope, we can now delve deeper into the younger and more common galaxies that existed during the tumultuous early stages of the universe. Furthermore, there is ongoing debate regarding how the early chaotic and dusty universe transformed into the transparent universe we observe today. One prevalent theory suggests that this transformation, known as the Epoch of Reionization, occurred approximately 400,000 years after the Big Bang. During this period, the first generation of stars formed, believed to be much larger and brighter than our Sun, and they illuminated the previously dark universe by ionizing hydrogen atoms into protons and electrons. This process of reionization, driven by ultraviolet starlight, continued for about 1 billion years after the Big Bang. However, some researchers propose that the outflows from supermassive black holes, such as the one at the centre of our Milky Way, may have played a more significant role in cosmic development than previously thought. These outflows might have allowed ultraviolet radiation from galaxies to escape and impact the universe. A second team involved in the JADES project, which focuses on studying galaxies between 500 and 850 million years after the Big Bang, aims to provide insights into this long-standing question. Led by Ryan Ensley, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Texas, this study explores galaxies during a crucial period of cosmic evolution. Ensley states that in this phase, we can observe the influence of galaxy formation on the overall composition of the universe. The formation of stars in early galaxies was marked by greater chaos compared to the present. To understand the ionization of gas within these early galaxies caused by starlight, Ensley's team examined the signals of star formation in these galaxies. They focused on emissions from ionized atoms that radiate when they cool and merge with other molecules. The researchers made a significant discovery. One in six galaxies during that time displayed pronounced emission lines in their spectra. These emission lines indicate that these early galaxies were actively producing stars, resulting in the release of a large number of ultraviolet photons. As a consequence, the early stars played a crucial role in the reionization of the cosmos. Ensley explains that in the early universe, these strong emission lines were quite common, and they were present in nearly every galaxy discovered thus far. These emission line signatures were indicative of intense star formation occurring in brief bursts, followed by dormant periods within the early galaxies.